Welcome to the Tippy Toe Podcast. We got a special guest this afternoon. Who my guest is, my dog? 31,000. Okay, then. 31,000. What is it? 31,000, 31 grams. Let me know which one it is. Which one you go by? 1G, 31,000, 1 gram, however you call it. I'm all that, though. Okay, then. We appreciate you coming over here, man. Now, we know we had a, you know, the fans had a couple questions. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we got to break it down. Let's do it. Let me put my headphones on. I was more. drinking before I got here. I'm ready to talk some shit. Okay, then. Where is 31,000 original from? From the know you. Okay, then. Kenner Green. And let us know how it was <laughs> raising in the know you. Shit, I don't know. I mean, I enjoyed myself. I made a lot of friends, lifelong friends. You know, you stayed in that door to the wheel, but you didn't really know. Like, it was the wheel. It was regular. When you were in the hood, when you heard you good, it was great. I had a good childhood, had fun, played a lot of sports, met a lot of people, tried a lot of new shit. Okay, okay, okay. They go on there. Mm-hmm. So, how did you fall in love with music? Um, Growing up, who did you listen to? Tunchy. I'm a big Tunchy fan. I like, uh, but I, I really like all kind of music, bro. Like, um... What we're doing. I like 40, E40 them. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know how I fell in love with it. It was always in me. Like, even when I was a jit, <clears throat> I had like a little DJ set and shit in the know. My old girl know about me a little DJ set. So a nigga used to mic check and shit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Um, Bitch Snoop, I used to get all them niggas albums. Like, whoever came out and they shit was hard, nigga learning, learning nigga shit word for word. Okay, okay. So now you saying, since you mentioned you like Lil Wayne, <clears throat> let me say you got four more. What was like your five type five artists? Top five artists right now. Growing up, no growing oh, up. Oh, growing up, yeah. probably like the whole hot boy shit. Uh, I don't really remember what would be my top five artists growing up, but I remember I had grabbed Snoop album. I remember I had grabbed The Block Is Hot. Um, about the size of, I don't remember. I grabbed Casey and JoJo now, but I can't say who my top five artists is because I like everybody. Like even right now, I, I fuck with Kanye shit more. I ain't like Twenty One Savage shit at first, but Twenty One be going hard. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> of course, I'm a Yak fan and shit. You okay. feel me? And the grant they wanted to know, did thirty one thousand graduate high school? Hell yeah, and went to college. Okay then. I went to college for a year. How it was? Let us know how it was. It was great. It just wasn't for me. Like I, I ain't never really planning on working nowhere, bro. I ain't got no other skill set aside from running my mouth and um making shit fifty cent cheaper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now you remember your first time going to the studio. Yeah, in college. Oh, in your college? My first time ever rapping in the studio was in college. And then I figured out I could really do that shit because a nigga used to go to parties and shit with niggas. And they used to play that shit. And I just always been real outspoken. And I can walk around like nigga have like a little vibe. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But my first time recording was in college, ever. And, it's, and they, they <laughs> say, Dirty One Thing used to be spitting a lot. You remember your first showcase open mic you go into? Oh, yeah. I used to go to the boat. I love know, the boat. Let's know about that, though. Um, shit, the boat were a lot of... I mean, I, I like the culture of the boat. I'm even upset that they don't do open mics and shit now, too. Like, more so, I feel like back then, niggas really wanted to rap, and it was an art part of it. I feel like nowadays, niggas just want to be famous. So, niggas be gimmicky as fuck and shit. You know what I'm saying? But the boat, it was just something to do. I think that shit was on, what, Thursdays? Every Thursday, we used to go out there. Nigga used to wait in line. When I first started coming in that bitch, nigga used to wait to 4 o'clock in the morning to rap. You know what I'm saying? They crank up about 9 or 10. Nigga be on the list. Nigga be number 40 on that bitch. But I stand right in that bitch all night and wait to number 40 come up and pop my shit. Nah, nigga going first. Nigga going second, third, or fourth. You feel me? It was a dope culture. And they say dirty. That touch it. <laughs> Freestyle by busting around. You mix that bitch and kill that bitch. What ten, you was going to buy a long time ago. They said that. Yeah, ten, ten years ago, yeah. And I actually look back at that shit, and I'm like, damn, dog, why my voice sound like that? What the fuck I got on? Like, why the fuck a nigga got a faux pack? Like, I mean, I know during that time, it was the culture. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Pull out the shit. But to know you, niggas was dropping pearls at 16, but you know I was taking a different path. Okay, I yeah. thought I was going to corporate thug 30, but I'm going to just dirty 1,000 30. You feel me? But um, that touch of freestyle was straight. I'm, I just thank God for growth. Mm-hmm. Now a nigga like really like put a lot of time in on their craft. I don't even gotta go in there and write that shit. I just go in there and feel that shit and I drop some dope shit. So you free? You only write no more? Nah. Dang. But I think, but it's like I can't freestyle. I can't get on here and just give you bars like this right here. I gotta be on that bitch like vibing to a beat, catching the energy, and then I will go right in that bitch and say something like I do my first four bars no problem. Because you know I, I'm not just trying to freestyle just to rap fast. I'm still putting together a body of work. Mm-hmm. I just don't have to use a pen to do it. Okay. And man. I feel like music is uh, more more so emotion. I feel like a bitch should really like feel where you coming from like right there in that moment. Because if I write that shit in the car, by the time I get to the studio, that shit be asked to. 
me. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And that's why I record a lot of music. I don't even put that shit out. I just be needing to get that shit off. Okay, then. 31,000. Keep the water running. Mm-hmm. Let us know about that track. I right, is a version with you and Gang. Then there's a version with, I think, an NY artist on there. Yeah, that's the nigga Chris and me. If you ever heard Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Rockefeller Records, baby. We get that down, baby. That's him right yeah, now. so that's what a nigga it is. Just so happened I, um... I had a record. One of my homeboys played uh, football in Philly or some shit. Like, he went to the league. He spent him a little time, and that one nigga rich good. Um, and he just happened to put my shit on there. Keep the water running. It was the right energy. The nigga told me he wanted to remix it. He dropped that shit. He flew down. We shot the video. And, bitch, we kept the water running. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But it was fun. I felt like that was what the energy needed. And I'm, I'm known for coming up with shit that. How you that came shit. up with that thing, Bitch, though. you know, I be on them jiggles just talking fast and shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We'll be rich at the border. Bitch, I'm 1,000. Because. Even when I came up with that 1,000 shit, you know the culture wasn't screaming 1,000. Mm-hmm. Everything was real hands burnt, mm-hmm. man. 100. 100 yeah. 100. Mm-hmm. So I started feeling like, damn, all these niggas 100? I got to be a zero out here or something. Uh, I know I'm just not like these niggas. This, it's just like, I just ain't really understand the energy. But I know I'm so pure, like, with my heart, with love and everything. I ain't got to be the screamers, the rest or nothing. I know I'm the most purest. So I felt like, bitch, I, I can't be on bitch, 1,000. That's why I dropped that 1,000 on the end of my shit. You know what I'm saying? This was way back, banana boat days. Mm-hmm. Keep it 1,000. Mm-hmm. And so now you <laughs> want to know what? How did you and Coley P? <laughs> Me and Coley P stayed in Kendall Green together. So how did so you- we childhood, middle school shit together? When Coley came home from prison, he had them won all his awards and shit for prison and shit. He used to ride with Chew and shit when he first came home and shit. But but Chew, Chew, who you talking about? Chew, Chew, um, Chew, Chew. Okay. Yeah, him and Chew was doing something because you know he was just getting his feet wet and shit. And Coley just had the energy to rap, but he ain't really. Know how to really like put that shit together, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But me and bro came together and we just spent a lot of time with each other, fell in love with it. We did a lot of, we tried to do some crazy shit, throw back like 10th grade. When I was in the 10th grade, Cole was already thugging the shit. Then we done, we done pulled a little shit together and shit. Like, even though I was going to St. Thomas and shit and pumping no high and little madness programs and shit, I still had that know you sit in me and shit. Okay. But I thank God he covered us through that. You know what I'm saying? But me and Cole got together just strictly off, you know, it, it was it was nothing that we had to force. Just we like, just, how did y'all get together and start working on these classes, dog? Because, you know, we got to take them there. Because we're going to talk about all the new stuff, but we got to talk about yeah. the, the coat. You know, we with the hanger and all that there. You know, that's okay. Yeah, beauty with a hanger, it was fine. You know a nigga going to get their money on. That was just a coach. I feel like in Pompano, well, I know the niggas getting their money and shit in the deal too, but Pompano only four exits. Like, them boys, like everybody everybody hustling, whether you selling pickle ass, hot sauces, hair, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And just the coach and the niggas who we evolved around with, which beat it with a hanger, bitch. It was cool. Like, like it was, I, I mean, I don't know how we came up with the record, but I know we did it in like 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. And we ain't even, we got that bitch played at the trap. That shit ain't even had no verses on it. We were just and that bitch just straight energy got on them jiggers bitch and beat that bitch with a hanger and that's that you know okay now we're a group you know what i'm saying and we just kept cutting records and shit and dirty <laughs> this is what i grind for mm-hmm. let me know how y'all just was jumping on beats eating at it what was going through your mind when y'all jumped on that one bro um that this is what i grind for the money i love we were getting it on mm-hmm you know, um, in 2011, it's, you know, I was like one of the first niggas to bring the what you call us down and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga was young, 23, but a nigga was touching it differently. Mm-hmm. But I, but I'm not like a flamboyant nigga. Like I don't, like I don't, I don't care about clothes, jewelry, like all that kind of shit. I touch, I fuck up that money in silent, be mm-hmm. gambling and shit, tricking it off and shit. But we was really just getting it on. You feel me? And for us to be young, we was just having our way, and mm-hmm. it just felt good. So, bitch, that's what we expressed on the record. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and what about that cruise control on the highway? It seemed like y'all and Chichi uh, kept coming, dropping them shoes back to back. Too, and then that boy Black Scott shot that shit, shot the Black Scott. How y'all, um, came, how y'all came together? Y'all were making killer Because, bro, like, before, I, f- I feel like before, before a nigga really made it where they going to, niggas are grind together. But when a nigga go to, like, where energy go to shift and it causes a little separation. Or if a nigga might get up, feel like he a little hotter, he a better, he this. But in, in the beginning, all of us was just together and we just liked it around. Nigga, nigga used to be mad. And I meant, nigga, well, not be mad, but nigga used to be like, damn, well, I want to do what you doing because you had that mama got a lot of swag, bitch running around and shit. So me and Cody was like, bitch, we gotta get hot, like how you getting hot. Mm. So we do shit, all of us was coming together, we just was building, we finna know you, bro. That shit four ass. I played little league football with you two. So dirty. Who was the members of the Coley on? <laughs> just me and Coley. Okay, oh, music with you and Coley. Well, yeah, just me and Coley. Mm-hmm. It was just me and Coley. So now everybody wanna know, was Kodak or Coley on? 
Definitely. So how did you how did you meet Kodak? Um, I forgot how he came to the studio, but we had a little studio on Hammerville and shit. But Cody, uh, Kodak was already rapping and shit. He a talented motherfucker. But for him to be thirteen, or I think at the time he was thirteen. When you met Kodak, he was only thirteen. Yeah, for him to be thirteen at the time, if I'm sure, like thirteen or fourteen, he just was so mature. He was an adult. And, like, remember how I said when I was looking back, like, damn, 10 years ago, why my voice sound like that? Mm -hmm. Kodak already came in that bitch with his voice, like, his confidence, like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I seen it. Like, I was, uh, Don Coleon just called me for the first time last night. I ain't talked to him in years. And he was like, yeah, bro, you told me this. But I always knew Kodak was going to be a star. I'm not sure how he was going to get there, but, and he's still a star. You mm -hmm. feel me? I always knew that. We knew it. He just owned, he just owned the records when he got on them bitches. Okay, he owned them bitches like he was an adult on them shits. He would mm -hmm. remind me like how Wayne was rapping with Juvenile. He ain't nothing but thirteen. Them, but Kodak kicked this shit different. Like, mm -hmm. so how did y'all drop that fourth quarter? Dog? Explain <laughs> to me because y'all came on that. I bitch. really recorded on that shit uh, first in Boca. Um, we talking about fourth quarter, if yeah, fourth know. quarter. And you know what's so crazy about fourth quarter? I don't know if they fucked my name up on IG. I never got to perform that song. A bitch be rapping my whole verse. What's your favorite verse on there? No. Yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah. That nigga rap my whole verse. And they don't even know that's that's your boy. But I don't mind though because that's Seed Planet. You know what I'm what saying? What they put on there? Uh, what, what you, you said they, they put they put thirty one grand, but they spelled it out instead of just putting thirty one thousand. You oh, know, people, yeah. you put thirty one grand like or, or some shit like that. And whatever the case may be, but it's all good. That shit, there. Everybody who around here know is that it's gonna always forever be like a Florida little classic or whatever the case is. Like, but you know, I want to go top forty anyway. So mm -hmm. whatever on the way to doing that, bitch, I'm cool with it. Mm -hmm. And 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 do you know why? Like why y'all never did a music video for doing go, going through the Coleon? Man, niggas just went to getting hot and doing different shit. I don't know, like. I don't really, bro, to be honest with you, I don't even remember, none of that shit little rent free in my head, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't be caring about none of that shit, bro. Like, like I holla at niggas and holla at niggas, like, when Yak came home, I seen him one or two times, but I spoke to him on Instagram, we FaceTime. Man, he wasn't speaking for a while, like, during his whole shit. But, you know, like, bitch, which way we started, I used to take Kodak to open mics. Mm -hmm. Like, bitch, I take my baby car seat out the house, man, because Kodak can't even be in here. Mm -hmm. But I'm in there popping my shit, man, this nigga ain't nothing but 13, well, this nigga ain't nothing but 15, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, at the time. Yeah, man, he slide, he get on that bitch and he got funky, everybody go out, they kick us out that bitch. Mm -hmm. I forgot, I forgot who else we was with, but I slide him up there, but I, I always just knew it. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But dirty but, though, how it felt though? My bad for cutting you off. Like you and Coley was like the outcast of Brad County. <clears throat> man, I don't, man, you know how it felt. It ain't feel like shit to me, bro. Because I didn't, I didn't receive none of this shit when it got hot. Like I ain't never get to rock the stage with Coley and shit outside. Like when it, when shit got real hot and went to bubbling. Like I didn't receive none of that. I was just, I was just enough to carry, do my part until what bro got independent and he do his own thing. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I don't know. It don't feel like nothing to me, bro. So what? You, what, what, what remember you had a song with Juvenile. Yeah, man. I ran. I left Cuddles one night. On them Juvenile. How that was when you all dropped Listen, that song with how Juvenile? How about this right here, Hey, that's a big I motherfucker. Catch, I caught. I caught motherfucking on um, Juvie. I was leaving Cuddles one night, jigging. Mm -hmm. Hanging, I draw it on his ass. Jewel, when you leave, I fly tomorrow. Man, here, man, just stay tomorrow. Miss your flight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I shot to shoot him like a 500 or something. Jewel was like, man, come on, I ain't gonna make mistake. I ended up shooting like a 15 or something. Hollering at him. Chopped it up. Got his number. Jewel kept it real. He stayed the night. But you know what I'm saying? He wasn't gonna buck a nigga on that. He just loved a nigga energy. Mm -hmm. Nigga rock with Juvie like the long way. I don't speak to him now, but we had a little spell where nigga was hollering at Juvie constantly. Juvie took a nigga to meet Jeezy. You know what I'm saying? Juvie, Juvie do some real nigga shit, though. I but fuck like, with Juvie. But dirty, why you feel like <laughs> you was ain't really doing nothing with even kids and the grown niggas singing your shit? Word for word. Nah, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't feel like I wasn't really doing nothing. I just felt like but I ain't. nobody could just do shit like what y'all did now, my dog. Nah, and that's. And that's, what you still doing right now? Because yeah. my next one's going to be the. You and Lucci, but I'm, we talking about that right mm -hmm. now. Nah, but. What your question was again? I'm talking about like you, you say it didn't really feel like now. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. You like how it feel like during the time like that shit. We, I used to tell them niggas, man, we are gonna be rich in the morning. Mm -hmm. That shit was exhilarating. Like that shit was like a vibe. Like we really out here. A nigga getting them some paper. Nigga getting their own paper. Like so when I go rap for free, mm -hmm. bitch, I go do shows free. Everything like nigga getting money. We good. We just was enjoying the energy. So it was fun. Niggas was young. Niggas getting a, like a certain kind of attention. And this was before Facebook, Instagram, like all that shit. We was really just buzzing, just on the strength. You know what I'm saying? It was just fun. It was fun. Now, niggas, was, niggas was enjoying themselves, doing what they love to do. Not thirty one thousand dog. That nine one one dog. Let God, me. it started out after the trap. Damn it, 
Yeah, yeah, full of pool, uh, pool hat, I got shot. Yeah, yeah. That's that gas, ain't it? Hey, man, I dog. was hurt. I, I cried over that nigga. I cried over um, Don Corleone. Everybody was running to Corleone trying to save the day. Oh, Corleone, because he was the star. But I was over there with Don Corleone. He like, bitch, I can't breathe. I'm crying and praying over that nigga. <coughs> and man, that nigga had them fell out, but... Ma, that shit don't live rent free in my heart. We fell back on. You know what I'm saying? So how did you meet um Polo Pool? <laughs> shit, he was a Cole on from the beginning. That was Co- Polo Pool and Cole P. Like they brothers. Mm-hmm. They real brothers. Cole, that nigga Polo Pool used to walk around the morning. Like that nigga was while we was in high school. That nigga used to come to the games and shit with a full blown suit on, like he the motherfucking Godfather. <laughs> yeah. That nigga have a suit on with a brim on, but he meant business though. You know what I'm saying? He a good nigga, man. I follow Polo Pool. Okay, the, and, and what about um relationship with G One? Did y'all have a relationship with G One? Nah, um, I touched a few dollars with him before, but me and Brain never get cool. But I never, I have nothing bad to say about him, bro. Good people, he bought his issue, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know him like that person, like grew up with him mm-hmm. and shit. But I met him as always been good energy. And, 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 and let's talk about that, you know, the verse you got with Wyatt and Lucci. How that came about, dog? I wish I would have did a better verse with that shit, honestly. I mean, that? I like the hook. Why you say that? Because I felt like I was I had went to the studio the night before to and recorded on them shits, dropping some epic shit. You feel me? But when Lucci and them came, you know, and then when I even first met Lucci, you know, I was congratulating. I was like, yeah, bro, you just went number three, bitch. That's like, that's lit. Like, you know, because I'm like, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to live on the billboards and shit. It kind of threw my energy because you were like, number three? Nigga, I just went number one and did it. He was, I was like, this is a cocky little motherfucker. I'm, I'm spending money with two of you. You know, I'm just trying to create a rapport yeah, and yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. But he came in that bitch and hung out. I had to scream and holler at that nigga for he can uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh on that bitch. I had to tell nigga three times, bro, give me a few of them shits, bro. A little uh-uh, uh-uh, you feel me? But um, initially, we were supposed to do a record with somebody else. I don't know who who he's going to do the record with. I forgot about it, but he fell through. And somebody just hit, like, man, you know, we can get loot. So a nigga flew to the A. I'm, a, I'm tied in with the A2 and shit. Like, uh, free my nigga, um, damn, what my little dog name is, but free that boy. But uh, nigga tied into the A every time we go there. Um, so it's always good energy. But Lucha came through, did his thing. He cleared the record and everything. He actually the only artist that cleared the record to be able to let a nigga make some money off it. And he promoted it after I blew his ass up. But put me on IG. Put me on IG, we finna go viral, you feel me? But he good people, though. Free that boy, too. Free that boy, Lucy. Okay, then. So, let us know, man. So <laughs> I did a record with Ross, too, by the way. Let us know about that record right there. <laughs> Ross a cool motherfucker. That's a big cool motherfucker. He actually went over and beyond and did some shit. Um, he did like a little YouTube Bella shit, like about a nigga. Like he spoke about how y'all can go find that shit. Um, when Ross was talking that shit, Ross, 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 one of the coolest, richest niggas I ever met. Real humble spirit. Mm-hmm. Um, took his time with the record, gave me an epic ass verse, but the motherfucker ain't clear. You know what I'm saying? But you know, R.P. Black Bull, his his motherfucking brother had passed like that following week. So business was done for like three, four, five months. You know what I'm saying? But how I feel about the whole shit with Ross, if I keep hustling, man, I get them saying whatever I spent on Ross right back. Like he gonna fuck with me. Ross like hustlers, you know what I'm saying? So I'm even saying, even me growing and being more mature in this shit, I'm about branding myself. It's not even about ownership with me, bitch. If you're gonna rep this shit with me, let's brand this shit and make it bigger than life. Mm. Like even with the Tippy Toe podcast, we brand the Tippy and one G music. You feel me? Like Fuck just saying, man, I own this and this is my company and um this. That shit don't mean a hell of fucking beans. Right. I'm ready to I'm ready to network with niggas, bitch, and brand this shit. You know what I'm saying? I want everybody to be one G. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Even if you hit a day going tomorrow, bitch, stick it in. You know what I'm saying? Okay, for sure, for sure. But Ross is the coolest nigga I met, and I'm looking forward to doing business with him in the future. So I'm like, when when like so what's the name of the shit you working on right now? I ain't working on shit right now. I just bought me a house this year. Okay. Shout out to God for showing blessings. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations. Oh, I'm working out. Bitch, a nigga with 295 pounds. Mm -hmm. I had to stop eating all these pills, stand up later, tricking with these dirt ass hoes, and get my motherfucking life together. You know what I'm saying? So a nigga praying more. You know what I'm saying? A nigga working more. I'm more careful with my money. I stopped gambling and all, too. Like, it's been a year that I stopped gambling and shit. That's why I was tearing my money up at when I was getting it before. Mm-hmm. Like, niggas will look good and shine and trick with hoes. I be over there tricking with them Indians. Let us know what you, what you, what the most you ever lost at the Indians. I sat there and lost 17000 in one night with them no. people. And the man told me, bro, I ain't supposed to tell you this, but Jeffrey, please go home. Jeffrey, please go home. Damn, Jeffrey. 17? Jeffrey. Jeffrey, go home. Sat there and lost. And then I just realized, I'm like, damn. 
you know, and then I cry about it when I'm not getting shit that I want to get or doing shit that I want to do. But I went to talking to God about it. I had to fall back on them jiggles. I had to fall back on a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. so I can start. You know what I'm saying? Now my family's stable. My daughter got her own room. My son got his own room. My girl got an office and shit, you know what I'm saying? Gated community shit. Shout out to God for showing sure that. You know what I'm saying? Now I can see, like, now I can go harder with the music shit. Mm-hmm. Because, like, you would, you, would, you, would, you would risk everything, like, for your financial freedom, right? But you would fuck it up at the same time and be back at square one. Right. So now you just a stupid motherfucker rather than, you know what I'm saying? So now everybody can, my, my family, I'm, for the most part, my old girl, everybody, they can look at a nigga more powerful and shit. You know what I'm saying? The house was supposed to initially be just a, a rental property, but I be going at odds with my, like, you know what I'm saying? My old boy, a handicapped nigga and a hater. But I love him, though. Shout out to that nigga. You know what I'm saying? But it's fine, though. And God, you, yeah. No, you my bad. You, you say you took a year off? Mm-hmm. Why did you take a year off? Though? I took this year off because I want to just focus. I want to be selfish this year. Mm-hmm. And they don't even take the whole year off. I think I started like in maybe like March. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think my last time gambling when it's like February or March. And I need to take a year off, brother, just get into it, my spirituality, like see what the fuck a nigga want to do. Like, I can't, keep, I, keep, I can't keep letting the streets recycle me. You know what I'm saying? I can't take for granted that God allow a nigga to make a few dollars. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And whatever business I get in, you know what I'm saying? Anything I do, like, you know, I monetize it. You know what I'm saying so y'all yeah, learned how to engineer and shit I, so i record myself and all that too so i um, oh, you know how to record your own self yeah i record what myself made, what made like you start studio. learning how to do all that good I, stuff i'm tired of paying niggas bro Fact. like i be i don't I'm, I'm already i already got my own studio and i'm paying y'all niggas 50 dollars an hour and then i'm friendly as fuck i order 50 wings but be on them jiggles don't eat now wings bitch i'm buying weed for niggas i'm just hey fuck it like i'm just friendly that because yeah. i be wanting the energy to be that yeah way yeah I yeah but sometimes people take advantage of that shit. you can't take advantage of me because i don't care mm-hmm. anything i do i don't mind doing it okay then. you a bitch whoever feel like they're taking advantage of me bitch you are losing the race that i'm not even in you know what i'm saying you can't take advantage of me i will give it to you because i know that shit don't mean a fuck thing like all my blessings come from god bro you know right, what I'm right. saying? So you can't. How you gonna take advantage of a nigga who gonna just keep the water running? <laughs> okay then. Okay then. <laughs> Fuck you talking about? And dog, uh, and, w- and what was it about? Y'all rap was all real though, dog. It's like y'all ain't just just rap. Y'all was rapping real shit. It was it was fortunate enough to have to like we was fortunate enough to make it through that shit. Like I, I'm I'm so I'm so thankful a nigga made it out their twenties. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because nigga done been through something like treacherous shit. Like you know, and like, just not even not even just. Directly and indirectly, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, you know, nigga, nigga, niggas you be in pictures with, bitch, getting assassinated and shit, niggas' heads getting cut off. Like, that shit, man, that shit traumatizing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Niggas can rap about it and shit like that. You know, going to jail and all that shit. That shit traumatizing, man. I'm kind of just treat you any kind of way. Lay face down, put your nose on the floor. This, you like, but well, and then you, know, I think I even told him, kind of, man, I just left college. There's some shit like that, though, bitch. Man, book him, Danny. Get his stupid ass in there. He ain't got no business. I mean, so I feel like rappers, um, we don't, we don't, we don't take mental health seriously in our community. I don't think, and I think rap is a way of like therapy. Mm-hmm. I mean, at least it is for me. That's why I can record so much music and not even necessarily put everything out. Not only am I working on my craft. But I just be needing to get that shit off my chest, even if it was a wild day, even if it was a great day. You know what I'm saying? Rap ain't got to be like it's an emotion for me. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? That's what made our music real. I feel like the slickest shit in the real is just keeping it real. Facts, facts, facts. So now, like I said, I don't, don't want to bring go too hard on that 911, though, though. But let's take us there, though, though. Like, I mean, it was... Uh, hold on one second. Nice, Drake. Do what you do. Take your time. We vibe. We got 31 gram up in this motherfucker, man. Um, the 911 record just came along because it was just too much shit going on, bro. And a nigga witnessed it all. And you know what's so crazy? Um, I'm probably the nigga, like, when we used to fight and shit a lot, I'm the nigga who would fight first and shit. Like, you know, Cole and them look, the Cody lads, he gonna fight and shit, but them boy wanna slang on. And when Polo Poo and shit, but, you know, niggas was already going through some shit that was ongoing, but it was, it was growing. It wasn't no internet, it wasn't no tweeting back and forth, this and that, it was doing it, but whatever the case happened, you know, some young, some, we just had finished doing a show. The show was epic. And when you leave from out the truck, you pull up at this little gas station right here. I don't know what the fuck, who told me to go to the car? I think, go to the car and grab something. Or something. But as soon as I turned around and went to the car, both of them boys got shot. And it was like, damn. And then I'm already high. So I'm emotional as fuck. I'm coming off a of super high. We just killed the stage. Mm-hmm. We just had the whole know you're going crazy and that shit. But I remember we were going to the hospital. They actually let me in. Like, you know, I was a brother, but they weren't letting niggas in and shit. Like, it was crazy. I don't even want to relive that shit. That shit don't live rent free in my heart either. You feel mm-hmm. me? I let the I I, I I let niggas rest in peace in real life. I know what's going on. I know it's genuine love. Not the niggas that died. I'm just that's even me talking over with our other homeboys that passed away. God bless the dead. But 
for that shit to happen, you know, I, but I knew they was going to be straight, though. You know what I'm saying? Cole threw the middle finger up on his Tupac shit when they was putting him in the ambulance. And, bitch, I was in there with just me and Polo Poo crying over this nigga's snot bubbles and shit. Like I said, them jiggers how you emotionally and fuck. Anyway, but I did. I, I do. I still truly do love them niggas, even though I don't speak to them niggas every day. And I can love a nigga from way over here and from a whole nother state. Like, I ain't got to get no paper with you. It's all love, man. But my thing is, though, Dirty, y'all, y'all was taking off, turning up, dog. Just, I'm talking about... Y'all was doing shit nobody was ain't doing. But the cool part about it is we was taking off and turning up. And then, you know, we had went through a little dry spell. You know what I'm saying? Whether people did know it or not. We went through a little dry okay. spell. Me and Coley was, Coley was mad because I was like, you know, the nigga Leaf who want to keep the water running. I used to write records and shit with bruh and shit too, man. Bruh, Bill. So bruh send me some shit. I'll drop some shit. Coley will get mad because I'll be in the studio. Man, you working on other nigga shit and we need a hit and that. And I'm like, damn, bro, the energy just not there. I'm just staying sharp. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But Cola, the same motherfucker, will be sleeping in the studio while a nigga up on them drugs, dropping hits and shit. Or he'll go to the club and shit and come back and, you know what I'm saying, and just get on it. But I felt like it was a team. What caused separation, I think, is po- when the niggas from Po' Boy asked us to come up there separately. Because mm. when we did a show at, I forgot where the club was. I was doing E-Class like this, but we was fucking the club up, though. It was lit as fuck that night, too. And I was doing E-Class like this. Like, them bitches up? No, I'm telling E-Class, let, okay. me, let me eat with you. Okay. That's why I'm doing a spoon to him. Like, oh, he understands. Okay, okay. He ended up getting a nigga number and they brought us up there. That's when me and Cody just, go on, get your motor. Like, we we wanted to do some, some shit. Cody wrote in the chain game, some shit we came up with. It was a dope vibe. But after, uh, like, after recording, like, for probably a couple weeks or something, they asked us to come up there separately. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know, niggas asked me, want to be down, but I'm like, nah, fuck it, I'm going to stick with my people then. Because Cody felt some kind of way. Because he probably felt like you was, I was finna leave him and I got my oh, break. So Cody a sport ass brat though. You're by the way, boys want to um, sign you? No, they want to. I thought I think they were signing both of us, but they want to just see what what we do separately. separately. We didn't know what the whole play was, but being that I, I went up there a few times by myself, I think Cola denied it. Cola tell a nigga no, cause E class. Cola got mad one day cause E class came in that bitch and told us. Now you rap your verse and you rap your verse. I get off. Mm-hmm. I get off. I get funky. Mm-hmm. Cody rap his verse. He like, he just chill. Mm-hmm. Then I ask Cody, but why you ain't rap your verse? He's like, man, but nigga in that act like they pointing his fingers. I'm like, damn, but it's an opportunity. Mm-hmm. But probably Cody just felt like, I don't know what the fuck he felt like. We never talked about it. Mm-hmm. But he a spoiled ass nigga though. Mm-hmm. I love him, but that nigga a spoiled ass nigga. So, so, we, so, so, so we, we can't get no more, one more Cody on album? Shit, we should have got a Corleone album, bitch. Why that shit was hot? That shit make it 20 and short, son. Get a little dirty 1000 in there. Nah, he definitely put me on his first album, six songs, which I never did no shows with him on them shits. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I did like six songs on his first album. But me and Coley talked together on Instagram every day, every now and then we FaceTime. He actually even called me about that same shit, that, that Touch It. Um, dang, he called and asked me to send him that the other day. Bitch, I thought it was the joke of the day. I can't even believe people still like that shit. I hate that shit. I hate looking back at that dirty. But I'm thankful for growth. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So for you to even bring it up and you like, oh, okay, yeah, bro, you slid that bitch to bust around shit. It's like, okay, my nigga probably just was whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't take it no way, though, because, of, like, again, I thank God for growth. Okay, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But, yeah, we can definitely do music. I'm more than willing. I just told Coley, um... Yesterday, as a matter of fact, I was like, send me some beats and shit. You know what I'm saying? I know you're working on your shit. you dealing with your companies and shit. you doing the music business. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whenever he get around to it, he'll do it. Or I fuck around and just get hot as fuck, and I'm going to still do something with my nigga. Well, even when the table's turned, I'm going to still have open arms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I love him, though, genuinely. That's my nigga. And... Doing street shit, being that I was coming from school and shit, and Coley was coming from a chain gang, he had a different school, he seen shit that I didn't see. So I was a little naive, like, to certain shit, but he'll tie my shoes, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So shout out to Coley, shout out to whole Coley Owens and shit, you know what I'm saying? But 1G Music, man, goddamn, mm-hmm. you know? And, and, hold on, let me sit this motherfucker shit, dog. There was one that can we get some bars, dog? Since you wanted the king of the bars, and listen, bro. I can play you some records. You, but then, you know them copyright. You can't, you can't yeah. play. Can you play something you wrote down? We can hear you like. I don't write no shit, bro. But I'm talking about you. If you know it, we could just. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't good at that right there. I probably I'm gonna work on that. Okay, then. I'm gonna yeah. work on that. That's but I'm going, I'm going to the studio tonight at ten, though. Okay. I man. see you some shit. I can give you some shit. I just do. I go do yeah, like you know. every time I record, bitch. I gotta do me like four or five of them bitches at a time. Okay. Then. You know what I'm saying? Like I am a rapper, but I'm not a nigga that's gonna be bad. Of rapping and like I'm not trying to force my talent on niggas either. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I want I want to drop that shit and if you get it, you get it. And if you don't, you don't. Those. You know. So like when you're like when you doing your who, who, what other artists in Florida that acknowledge Dirty One Thousand? 
I mean, I have plenty of them. Like, I the do, people I, that don't know, what's crazy, know. What's crazy, bro? I do a whole, I do a lot of features, and if I start naming people, I can miss out on people. But it's a, definitely a lot of niggas like that's uh that fuck with a nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's like a small circle. They up and coming niggas, like niggas I can develop with and shit like that. But I can name my nigga Corporate Cheese. He only been rapping this year, and he only he going crazy. Um, Ballad, Ballad is a singer. He from Ohio. He came and fuck with me. Like he came and shot with me. He started off as a feature, then he became one G. Um, SB a female who came through and, and kept the water running with me. You know what I'm saying? And K K came and stood around and shit. And of course my nigga Joe Blow. Joe Blow actually one of the hardest niggas out of Brow. Like his pen and all that shit, his penmanship, his delivery, his hustle, his ambition. He a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to all the artists that I work with and I'm working with. You know it's the whole. You know I don't work with every motherfucking body. So I literally have to write this shit down as we do it. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Every motherfucking body, bro. Oh, yeah. Since you so close to I forgot. I just seen it in the corner, corner right? What about Jack Boy? Did you know Jack Boy growing up, too? No, I didn't know Jack Boy growing up. But that's a solid young nigga right now. <laughs> He bought my studio one day, even though when my sound was trash and all, he actually still paid for the studio time, and he gave me a verse, and he actually told me, he was like, bro, I'm in a situation, don't drop your shit until, like, my shit get hot type shit, you know what I'm saying? I still talk to him on the gram and shit, too. Mm -hmm. I love his hustle. I love how he carry himself. I love how he ain't even looking back. You know what I'm saying? I hope that I hope that young man keep prospering. I hope that young man become everything that he dreamed of becoming. He told me how he even learned how to rap. He was like, when he was in there, he used to read and shit. And how Nicki Minaj put their bars together and how certain do it, how certain people do their thing. He's a, he's, he's a bright young nigga. Mm -hmm. he's, he's, a, he's a smart young nigga. And I love the fact, like, you know, I love the fact that, you know, God giving him an opportunity and he taking advantage of it. Mm -hmm. You know? Shout out to Jack Boy for sure, for sure. And what about the people thirty one time? They say they want they want they want that keep the water running. Look look that bald head style. They say you don't play when you when you drop that bald head. I'm rebranding and rebuilding, y'all. I, yeah, I was going through one of those stages of rebranding and rebuilding. Cause mm -hmm. mind you, and I say 2011 was epic. By 2013, mm -hmm. bitch, I was bitch, I was working at the dollar store. Yeah. <laughs> That's a joke right there. You said, <laughs> "Bitch, I'm still bad ass serious. Okay. This shit was fucked up. I had a baby on the way, bro, and I, I just couldn't get right. I fell out with niggas who I was getting money with. Like I ain't fall out with me. They fell out. I ain't fall out with them. They fell out with me. But I probably was tripping. I mean, I take accountability. But, bro, it's a humbling spirit. But I was a cocky motherfucker with that bread too. Even though I was nice, I used to talk. Be like, you ain't getting no money out here, man. This shit crazy, man. Get your feet off. Get the fuck up. Like it's still niggas that come up today. Like, yeah, bro. One night I told you something, and you shot me a band. And one, hey, bro. One night, bro. You remember you do it? like you know I was free. I was free hearted with that bread. <laughs> do you remember those nights or they? Do you nah, know? I don't. I don't. Like I, be, I be having to like as like like if it happened in front of, I be like, sound like some shit. I did that be like hell yeah bitch you like you know what I'm saying I don't remember those nights but even the lady who cut my hair Ashby cut my hair and shit and she was like bitch I used to hate you back then you was just a cocky motherfucker like you was just you know what I'm saying I thought I was the sweetest nigga in the world mm -hmm. like I thought I was just free like, everybody can get some money with me you can fuck up a bomb and all and it's cool bro you know what I'm saying let's keep it going you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying but um that was a humbling experience though bro and then I had them fell out with my baby mama I was all kind of fuck niggas and Damn, you green at like I, like she felt tricked. Mm -hmm. Cause soon as she got in the mix and got pregnant, bitch, I went broke. Bitch, we come back to my crib. I had a little crib in the know you, bitch. The lights was off. It was hot in that motherfucker. I couldn't get it right. I'm trying to go catch plays, catch plays that'll come good, bitch. It just didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Like the my energy was fucked up. I had too much bad energy on me and shit. So you know a nigga pray. I cut. I say if God gonna humiliate me, I'm gonna humiliate my motherfucker self. So I ain't go ball. Like I ain't like I ain't go ball, bitch. I went ball, mm -hmm. bitch. I grabbed that stank ass shit that you do. With a butter knife, put it on my hand. Butter knife that shit out, and I was at the dollar store. Same niggas when I was catching for such and such. They'll be that bitch like, bro, this your shit. Nah, bitch, I'm working in here, bro. They thought it was your shit. Yeah, but but, but nigga go from eight dollars and fifty cent. Mm -hmm. Can't give me a key for an extra fifty cent, bitch. I'm in there late closing the people shit up and all. What I was not doing though is tackling none of them hoes that was stealing out that bitch. Y'all still on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not tackling no motherfucking body at this dollar store. Y'all hoes keep stealing. I don't even give a fuck. But y'all yeah, worked there. But I can see like as my energy was getting better, I graduated. I worked there. For probably a couple months, three, two or three months. Then I went to Walmart overnight shift, slaving the nigga. They ain't got no wheels and all. Mm -hmm. My girl had on went to drawers. My baby mama like, find your ride. Tell that hoe to take you. Puss ass shit was going on. Nah, nah, my yeah. bad be cutting you. You see how you say you was still chasing that bag, right? Mm -hmm. You got niggas out here won't be hustling, don't even want to work and just. Oh no, bro! Like who made who, who told niggas working ain't cool? Like, bro, I'm, bro and I'm a, and I'm a humble soul, mm -hmm. and you gotta get you some money out some here, some type of way. 
I ain't finna go sit next to a nigga because they got a bad bro. Ask for nothing, bro. Okay, then. It make me feel some kind of way, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I just started accepting gifts from my friends. But I know I don't put that kind of energy out there. Like, I just start, like, I just start allowing niggas to be able to do some shit for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and shout out to my niggas in CB, man. Them niggas are the ones who just, even when shit was getting shaky with the Coleons, they made me like, bro, just be your, just be 1G, bro. Just we 1G music, we this, bro. How I can help you? And then, look, we was about to take off. Man, my nigga wrote up a contract and all. Then, boom, he go right to the feds. <sighs> So when he go to the feds, his motherfucking brother coming home from doing 10, he fall right in pocket. Boom, we back on. Bitch, back. That's probably to me, like I said, it was a gradual growth. I went from the dollar store, then I'm overnight at Walmart, then I went out there to city furniture. I'm out there 10 days. Mm-hmm. I was back getting it on that city furniture. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, you know, I'm paying the niggas. Like, man, just say I was here today, bitch, I don't feel good. Just say I want no more trucks for me, you know what I'm saying, after a while. You know, and then I just realized the working shit just wasn't for me. I don't want to be a career man. I want to be my own career man because I want to... I want to create jobs for my niggas, but jobs that don't feel like jobs, jobs that feel like I'm living the best life I'm ever living. You know what I'm saying? I want to create a brand. I want to. I want their kids to be straight. Mm-hmm. Niggas sick of suffering. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas sick of paycheck to paycheck, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, all that's what's going on. And, and, and another question they wanted to ask. We kept hearing y'all talk about a round. That was Zeke. What was it? Zeke. Yeah, what was it? Big. What, what was Zeke? Zeke had the motherfucking corner store, man. Zeke a cool ass a rap though. Like you can, he was born and raised. Like he, he was raised around us, so he got our whole culture. He was a Coleon too, though. <laughs> he's definitely a Coleon. Like he's, he took a chance on us. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And even when me and Cole separated, you know some dis- discrepancies and shit. Zeke say, man, he'll bet on me against anybody, but he'll turn around and say, man, dirty be rapping all that New York ass shit. But I'm trying to tell a nigga, bitch, I'm trying to go top forty. We'll be rich in the morning. It's bigger than just tearing up the whole Florida. Let me. Rap the New York ass shit so we can get some shows in New York. Let me rap the the, 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 the the slow shit so we can get some shows for the hoes or we can do us some tour shit. You know what I'm saying? It's bigger than that. But that's neither here nor there. But that's what that is. That's Zeke. And shout out to Zeke. I still got love for everybody. No hate love rent free in my heart or in my mind. Mm-hmm. So how you feel, dog? dog? Your shit is like a tourist spot, though, dog. Um, it make me feel like uh, it, it, I feel um, I feel privileged. I feel privileged to be in this expensive motherfucker and being able to make it through and um, move around and shit and raise my kids in in, in nice communities and and go to good schools and shit. Um, It's hard, though, because we'll get caught up in just everybody coming down here and we'll be trying to just feed what's here. Mm -hmm. And I know the world is so big. A nigga just hit me today from Russia. Yeah. He like on some shit like just just text just DM me this morning no cap from Russia he like man I just heard your shit on Spotify mm-hmm. bro I love your music whatever you do just keep going you know what I'm saying and that, and like I said as I've been on my rebranded shit bitch I've been on my spiritual shit and I just recently started I just turned on um, 33 um, on Monday mm-hmm. so I started going back, I started going back to church and shit you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying but I go to church from the highs put on that nigga T D Jakes cry a little bit spread my hands receive the word you feel me so I can stay covered and I acknowledge God in all my ways but it feel good to be in a tourist city like i love to be from somewhere from where everybody at because every time i go out of town bitch is dumb love mm-hmm. everywhere i go like people be saying like and then i don't know why florida be on that shit like man i ain't friendly no i'm friendly as fuck because i'm networking i man i'm a handshake away from trying to get where i'm trying to go i'm friendly fuck all that, that. i ain't got no egos and shit like i ain't got no, I, I ain't hard up on nothing i ain't shy and i'm being my and i ain't got on no costume okay I don't mind being friendly. I ain't on that friendly ass shit, bro. Yeah, mugging niggas and shit. What is you doing? You trying to make you some money? You don't even know behind that hand shit right there might can change your life. Talking about you ain't friendly. Now you want to... But you know what niggas do? Niggas say they ain't friendly, but they see them niggas getting paper. Now you get real friendly. You get real friendly. Niggas so friendly down here... You will be getting a nigga something for cheaper, but just because that nigga caught better, that nigga will pass by you and go shot with that nigga. You and your studio time could be forty dollars an hour, and you giving you lacing a nigga up and all. That nigga ride past your studio and go shot with this nigga, and he charge you a hundred dollars an hour. You can't even afford it. Them niggas friendly in real life. We be talking about I ain't friendly. <laughs> and how you feel though, dirty though? Like you got even niggas in Russia. Nah, like, if it's not, that was amazing. Like tell you, I'm saying, I know you be saying like, I don't feel like, but you, the, 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 a nigga ever hit you up, you like, damn, that shit touched me like this. Always say. like that, and that's the thing that that's why that's what keep me going. Bro, okay then, because even when Don Coleon called me last night, he asked me like, bro, you was supposed to been there, bro. Bro, bro, I be playing your shit. Bro, you supposed to always been there. But I'm like, bro, I might just want some shit that's bigger that take a little longer. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I had to realize I can't can't ride Cody coattail. Cody raised his boots and went and got what he wanted. I can't ride Cody that coattail. He raised his boots and got what he wanted. I have to like, why they got a lane? They got a lane. I have to just start digging right here. 
and create my own highway. Mm-hmm. And I'm enjoying the ride. Man, don't ask Tippy to. I wish everybody could have just stayed together, though. Nah, though. listen, bro. I'm, I'm still down for togetherness and unity. But unity be good when everybody fucked up. Right. Now niggas get their own and like it's like you know, but I, I'm not saying that people because me and Coley never separated. We just don't do music together. Yeah, we still together. I talk to Coley regularly. Mm-hmm. Like we never separated. Me and Gank never separated. Yeah. I still me and Gank still cut records and shit to this day. Gank somebody I started with. Keep the water running. Shout out VP. He had a studio on Deep Side. We mm-hmm. used to go fuck his shit up. He the only nigga we knew who know how to engineer. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like um, so it's like. Niggas can get together, but it's other people that's pulling strings at you. Like, they can see something special in you. They'll cause separation because they trying to monetize that right there. Hey, lose those guys. You're the star. You bitch, you see the temptation broke up, bitch. Everybody break up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm just looking forward to what God got going on with me. And I stopped asking God for things and asking God let his will be done because I can't. Everything I don't ask for, I want to be on the radio. I want to do. I want to hit a million. Just last year, I hit a million screens. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? How By myself. Say, how did that feel, though? It felt amazing, bro. Because I'm, that's how niggas hitting me up from Russia and shit. I did a million screens. And, and the shit was so dope. Cheese dropped his first mixtape. We dropped a mi- my joint mixtape. I think his shit did like 600, 700,000 and still growing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it feels amazing because you set small goals and personal goals, and then when you accomplish them, it let you make you stay down. It make you want to stay down. Even though, Dirty, you're not heavy on your social media shit like, like you say, but how, how it feel but that your, so your buzz still be just all over? Because every now and then, let's see, I don't force it on social media because I feel like. But it's star, like they still know. Yeah, because stars shine without trying. Okay. Dude. I don't have to seek, I don't have to seek for, for a bitch attention every day. What the fuck I'm getting? I'm a grown ass man, bro. Mm-hmm. I got shit to do. I got bills to pay, shit to take care of, bro. I ain't got time to be on live with a bitch every day, bro. Yeah, you good, nigga. That's the hood, nigga. Yeah, bro. I ain't got. To, I can't be on live tweeting, bro. I don't got. I don't really have that much to talk about unless we in here like this right mm-hmm. here. You know what I'm saying? I have personal conversations with my niggas. We go to lunch weekly. Like I love niggas. Like I love. I love the niggas who I love. You know what I'm saying? And we motivate each other. Not only did I get a crib this year, my other nigga bought a crib. My other nigga bought him some wheels and got him a crib. My other nigga started him a business. My other nigga bought him a truck. You know what I'm saying? Niggas doing grown up shit. What the fuck we on live for? Okay, yeah. It ain't man no live but a bunch of flagging. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nigga get it. Nigga nigga get in there. Them hoes get one of them lights right there. Put on their best clothes, take a picture. You go in that bitch, it ain't nothing in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bitch, hey, listen, and you know why I'm scared to do that? Cause my girl hard on me, my my daughter mama hard on me too. I'm gonna no longer call my baby mama, cause bitch, we get we're a unit, we're a tribe. All us get together. I wear a flag when I say this year, me and both of my baby mamas going to Disney World. We love each other like that. Yeah, both of them Disney World? No, we going. Oh, you about to take both your baby mama together? That's some pimp shit. No, it ain't no pimp shit. Nah, we don't want to disrespect it to get okay, it confused with okay, family. Okay, like you know what I'm saying? We do that shit. I'm sorry for about that. Tip I don't see yeah, that. Yeah, nah, I, it's a child. I don't sleep with my with my daughter mama or nothing like that but I love her like oh, yeah. she still get older like if we were dating but she get all this that's we family right. bitch I text her every morning man good morning man have a wonderful day don't let the devil in you know the same way that I do my girls just I love everybody the same the way I receive love is different you know what I'm saying I won't let nobody come between our tribe not none of her boy her boyfriends can come over too bitch I'm in here drinking man bring your boyfriend man what's up fam enjoy you bro yeah man what you doing let me let me help support us uh, 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 support my shit mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying and it's and it's healthy for the kids and it's setting an example without saying i'm not trying i just pray to god about it but we come from a real dark space though mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying but i'm happy we made it through but that's family we real family you know what i'm saying and i put ass in jail and all y'all going in dirty let's talk <laughs> let's talk about that blood raw verse <sighs> Which one that is? Oh, your part of that. Y'all dropping them like that. You don't remember? Y'all had one with Blood Raw, too? But I tell you, bro, I got to... When ni- niggas be... Damn, playing, you be forgetting. Bro, bro niggas will play me. So much hits. So much hits. <laughs> when I get shot, I still don't... Day 1000 got shot? Yeah. I've been shot, shot and stabbed. Oh. Yeah, I got stabbed and shot, bitch. Like, God, let, let us know something, though. It's throwback. Can we talk about it? That shit don't look rent free in my head. What am I promote that shit for? <laughs> like no, no, no. I done been stabbed and I've been shot. I got shot on some being some road daddy shit for niggas. Like that was around like down at the time of like the banana boats. I was a young nigga and shit. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't up getting shot. Shot my brother Moolah, man. He he brought me back. Oh, um, my brother Moolah, man. He brought he brought a nigga back. He stayed at the house with me for like three, four months. Made me get up every day. Um and work out and shit. Cause you know, I got shot and broke both of my legs. Like, I got shot up close, like <laughs> Tussling with a nigga, nigga up on me, bust me, break both of my legs. Bitch, so I'm just, my shit's just levitating. They, that nigga kicked me all in my face and all. I ain't even had nothing to do it. Like, that street, what, street stuff? 
Yo, just street shit. But it, it wasn't even my street shit. I just was just a monster that I was trying to be at the time. I think coming home from school, I tried to get with the program real quick. Like, like even when I used to go to di- bu- on deep side, bitch, used to have, I used to have a book bag on. Even if I had that sack end of the sun, I had a book bag on. Like, I was like the corny nigga. But I didn't care because I was always being myself. But my energy was like, man, I can do what y'all niggas doing and do it better than y'all niggas. Like, y'all niggas ain't even thinking far. You know what I'm saying? But long story short, shout out my brother Moolah for bringing me back. That's still my brother to this day. My mom love him, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I don't want to relive none of that shit little rent free in my head. But yeah, I got stabbed and shot. Both both occasions I was being a world daddy for it. So it's like, like what do you say to the people that say it's like y'all was like the Tupac of this, you know, the music game. Like y'all really lived this all type of life from the gangster to the girls to the um, lit, all that shit. And I tell people like, um, that was just adolescent shit. That was just young nigga with uh, a young mentality shit. If I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't do none of it. But I don't got to do it all over again. So I'm happy it happened. You, and it built character. You think it was just like, it was like since y'all was young, blowing up. Cause that we was just ain't care. Niggas wasn't thinking. Niggas was trying shit, bro. Yeah, but you know. Bro, no, bro, no, I remember, bro, listen, bro. This ain't even my energy, bro. I remember I stuck a man up one time, bro. That man ain't had nothing to do with it, man. I lay around, man, all day. I'm just suffering. I used to ride in cars and watch cars with niggas. But whatever niggas was on, I was just on it. I just tried shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had no business doing that. And like I said, I'm not finna let the devil make me feel guilty about anything that God already forgave me for, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what right. I'm saying? So mm-hmm. fuck all that. Right. Like, none of that shit don't live free. I know it's good for politics because, you know what I'm saying? I know you was gonna ask me about the Coleons and all that. If I want to go viral and say, Fuck them niggas. Fuck them niggas. Fuck all them. But why do that? Because nah. that shit, I love them niggas. Fact, fact. You know, and I'm not trying to go viral. Man, Who gives a fuck? We want to see a fucking dirty 1,000 nutter. We want to yeah, see. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, going viral don't mean that you making no money. It don't mean you hot. I'm trying to stick to the program. Like, I'm not finna do no gimmicky shit on here because I think that's what people tuning in for. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get on this bitch and pop my shit. And keep the water running, bro. Like, oh, okay. that's the size of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not angry. I'm not a mad rapper. I'm not mad at other rappers because they get hot. I salute it. Because every time a nigga get hot, I be like, man, I can still do this shit. But it's like, an opportunity. But like, how you feel, though, though, all this is want you to write for them and all, though, dog? Man, that, I love to do that, it. I, bro, I love to create. To do shit like that. I love, to, I love to create, bro. I love to create, bro. Like, I paid. It's so to the point. I was paying rent. Like, I started making money in the studio after a while. But I paid rent the whole first year just so I can create. Mm-hmm. I didn't even open up like that bitch. I didn't even know I had a studio for a year because I just want to be in there with the, the energy that I want to be in there with. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm paying out of pocket seven fifty a month plus whatever like extra cleanse and shit, right. whatever whatever that come with it, like just so I can rap mm-hmm. and paying a nigga to sit in that bitch and hit the button for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I love to create. If I would be honored to write a record for a bitch. You know what I'm saying? That fit you. Like, that's a challenge to me. Mm-hmm. But I write pop shit and all. Like, I pop. I write white boy country shit, pop shit. Like, I'm trying to go top 40, bro. Oh, yeah, you serious about that shit? Man, I don't. I want to live on the billboards, man. Mm-hmm. You see you, you see how them niggas' energy is who live on the billboards? My bad for cutting you. Like, you being, being a street nigga, you a street nigga. You I'm not a street nigga, bro. Like, what the I'm a, I, I consider myself. I'm just a hustler, bro. Well, you are, okay, you a hustler. Bro, I'm not a street okay, nigga. Okay, street, niggas, a, street niggas. Street niggas. Bad, bad, street niggas. I'm not a street nigga. Don't do me like that, Yeah, I ain't no street nigga, bro. You a Hustling ass nigga. I'm just a hustling ass that, nigga. Now you bro. made me forget what the fuck I was about to yeah, say. Yeah, I'm not a street nigga. Totally you limiting me, bro. No, no, that's man. like that's like you that's like you calling me a rapper. I'm not a rapper, bro. I'm an artist. <laughs> Hey, that's like you calling me a rapper. Hey, you a rapper, right? Nah, bro, I'm an artist. I sing a little bitch and all. I write a bitch. Okay, okay now nah, I remember now. Okay, it's like, okay, you a hustler, right? Probably because you a hustler. That's why you want to go top 40. Most niggas don't even care about It's like niggas don't got the love for the music no yeah, more. Yeah, I just said in the beginning, niggas want to get famous. I want to go top 40 because I do feel like I'm talented. And I, don't, and I don't, and I don't, and I don't go, I don't go out my way to tell niggas, hey, look at me, I'm talented as fuck. Okay, then. I just do me a video, pop it. I feel like a verse how I drop it on I don't even come it back most of the time. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not starving for attention. I don't sit on here. Well let's talk about that last freestyle you just did on Instagram when you snap. Yeah, I got another one coming. I just shot it yesterday. Crazy. Ooh. And I just off the door and, and it feel good when I hear it back because I, I don't hear my music that often. And shout out to A D. A D um just started the hot box shit, right? So he was like, man, 1G, just come in there, kill it, make a verse for it, whatever. Me and AD been friends for a long Let time. Let me know. 
<laughs> he gave you a shout out. What's your relationship with AD's dollar? Man, I've been on AD for so long oh, for the man, simple man, fact, like front front of motherfucking banana boat days. Um, AD AD put Ace Hood on. Mm. AD got Kodak a deal. AD got Savannah Christina a deal. Like AD just live. He can live rent free in the nigga head. He's a pure nigga. You know what I'm saying? He move off his energy here, man. The real less words. That's why I was even surprised he did a fucking interview. He don't he don't talk he don't talk much, mm. but he move. And when he put his mind to something, it gets done. Like I missed the opportunity because even when he told like I was so I was so coldly on that. You know what I'm saying? Like when he told me he was gonna manage Co I'm on Kodak, he said, Man, bro, you can come on here, bro, you can help co manage and you can write with him. Like Jit gonna be there. I was like, fuck that, I'm doing the Cole mm -hmm. Even when Poe Boy, fuck that, you I'm can't, doing the You can't do both? Nah, man, I, I cause I felt like it was like a uh Felt like it was a loyalty thing. I don't know. I was on some dumb shit. Then I was getting hot. I told you I lost friends and everything. Like, fuck that. I'm gonna do. But no, on. what you know now? Cause you said I would have just did it all. Too. Nah, knowing what I know now, I would have still did the same yeah, thing because, like I said, it builds character, bro. Yeah. And I'm always myself, regardless of whatever. Like even though it may come off like a negative connotation of the shit I'm saying, like I love the fact that I went through everything that I went through right. with the whole Coleon shit. I love the fact that I wasn't there with AD with the whole Kodak shit. I don't care if anything would have went different or if it would have been this or it would have been. That. Like I'm happy how God man, my life done been juicy, been stabbed, shot, jail, get rich, go broke, be po, live over. Like I'm loving it. This shit juicy, man. I'm, I wake up every day, and the only thing I do is tell God, man, you know, let your will be done, and I proceed. Fact. I can't see past my nose. I move strictly off faith. Okay, then. you know what I'm saying. Now we're back on that. guys. No break, nigga. What 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 what, what about to be working on? Um, right now I'm just uh. I mean, like I said, I got so many records already, but I probably got a thousand songs, bro. How much you think you could record in one day when you go to the studio? Uh, you got to go to the studio. My goal is to do like, unless I'm working on like a pop record or something. Like if I'm working on yeah, pop, pop records pop and shit. My dog ain't playing. I sit in the back room with the lights off, with a bottle halfway full. If you don't mind. I drink by myself. Hey, hey, okay, <laughs> I turn the lights on. And I play my imaginary guitar. Okay, then. <laughs> I'm a rock star. Okay. I'm a rock star. I'm a silent. But you got to hear the guitars in that bitch. It's some real, it's some real different shit. But it's a, it's a dope ass record. I'll let you hear some of that shit. But what, what I, age did you start dabbing in different music, dog? So really, um, when um, I met this guy in Boca, and he actually told me how to write the music. He was like, this basically is, you tell a story, and the hook is what sums your story up. So he taught me how to write music and make music fuller. And it's really that simple. Um, but it was during the time when I was with Kodak. Man, Kodak used to be at the, like, my first time ever recording, singing, and all that shit. That was, like, when me and Kodak was in there working on shit. Because mm -hmm. Kodak a motherfucking studio junkie, too. Mm -hmm. he'll, be, he'll, he'll eat the mic every night. Eat him a little piece, get out his table, he'll eat the mic every night. And I love that nigga look like his swag, like when he was young. It was pure, but it was dull. Like, you know, Kodak know how to dance and all. Man, <laughs> but Kodak ain't gonna dance. He gave two games for that shit. You know what I mean? Kodak used to know how to dance. I got a little, little shit he used to be doing this shit. One thousand. One time I pull up the DC studios, you and Kodak in the whip. It look like y'all used to hang back. It look like y'all used to he look like he used to vibe with you. Yeah, man. And listen, bro. Bro, I not I cherish those times, bro. But I'm not mad at him. Like now, when I see him, even when I speak with him now, I just I just know he's an adult now. He's a mm -hmm. grown man. Like I be I don't even call him little bro no more because I hear him calling niggas little bro. Like it's like damn, he got like, he's actually grown up. He got kids and all now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you know. And I just, I just want Kodak to live on billboards and shit, and go on big tours and fuck all the street shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? We don't put, we don't put, we don't risk too much. Like, and you don't did too much time. Like, it's too much opportunity. I just want you to just continue to grow and blossom and go get what you came here for to get. You know what I'm saying? Like, keep the energy around you. You know what I'm saying? Keep the good energy around you. And the only way you're gonna do that, it ain't the niggas around you. I'm talking about the energy. The only way you're gonna do that, bro, is really like holler at God. Like, be humble. Like, don't go off your own self. Like, for real. Facts, facts, facts. So let me know who you ain't work with, darling. You want to work with in the future, darling? Um, I want to be so big, bitch. I want to work with Adele and shit. Damn. <laughs> Billy Eilish, been in the Maroon Five. But they won't try to tell you, bro. Oh, you see, you I'm not trying part. to do shows. I'm not trying to do shows and begin bust that, bro. At forty. I'm trying to do shows, bro. Rich white hoes, man. Attorneys and shit out there. Black people. I'm trying to do concerts, fam. I didn't move out my house and get an apartment. Only time I moved out one time, but even when I moved out, I went and got another crib. I rented a crib. And I'm not knocking nobody who's getting apartments and this and this. It's just like my goal is different, bitch. I'm leaving the house to get a house, bro. I'm leaving I'm, I'm leaving from being a local rapper to being a, a blow rapper, bro. Mm. And, I, and guess what? It don't matter when it happened. 
I'm down for it. I'll wait. When I was just watching TDJ the other day, it was about Elijah and Elijah, and it was like somebody had to be anointed by at some point, but it took the nigga six years for the shit to happen that it had to happen. But if you read it, it like the shit happened overnight. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to stay down, bro, and keep trusting in God. Because like I told you, life's juicy, bro. Mm -hmm. Life juicy, bro. Like, it's been great, bro. It's, it's peaceful in my home. Me and my Just just the fact that me and my baby mama came from such a dark space. My daughter mom, forgive me for saying my baby mama. We came from such a dark space, bro. It's so healthy right now that her other jit, like, bitch, that's my jit too. How about that? And we ain't even together. Okay, yeah. Her other jit can stay at my house. Her other jit getting Christmas presents. Her other jit getting birthdays. Her other jit getting supported. Like, you know, just to come from that dark ass space, brother, where we at now, that I know that ain't nothing but God. People be like, man, you fucking them. Oh, you doing that. Oh, you must be getting money. None of that shit going on. I'm just telling God about it, bro, and not talking about it and killing it with kindness, bro. No kind of malice live rent free in my heart, in my heart or my head or nothing. And it's reflected in my music. I don't know why music so dark. The rap game so dangerous right now. Damn it, dog. Everybody dying. Everybody mad. Y'all niggas ain't getting no money. Dog. I ain't never seen so many niggas getting money so mad. Dog. Why y'all so mad? I thought they would have been happy, bro. That's why I'm trying to live on the billboard. Because the niggas who live on the billboard, the niggas happy. The niggas popping willies, smiling, fucking hoes, hanging out. You know what I'm saying? Apologizing to their girl with a Bentley truck. I already know what kind of comic get my girl when I trick. <laughs> <laughs> I already know what kind of comic get my girl when I trick. For sure, for sure. Okay, then, man. And for the people that want to follow you, let them know how can they follow you, man. At Dirty 1000 on, on IG, at 1G Music on Twitter. What you done talking to me? You rapping nah, up? You got no cousin? Nah, no, nah, I'm about to roll them up, man. Yeah, roll them up, man. Let's, to, nah, let's keep laughing. Man, we about to turn now. Nah, hell no, nah, we ain't done. What that, what that ain't no more drink, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me know. I'm about to sip it up. Let, let me get sponsorships and shit, man. Let me pull you up, man. I think about it. They got to pay. They got to pay for this promotion. Well, I got to duck them low. Mm -hmm. Duck them low. Okay then. But for real though, y'all follow me at Dirty One Thousand on IG. Whenever y'all tapping in and shit, I should have been going live, but I just don't even be knowing how to do that shit. I know how to do it, but I don't care to do it. <laughs> It'll happen when it happen. Okay. Cause one thing I know about niggas like Drake and shit, them niggas don't be on live. Nick comedians and shit be on live, and I mean people with podcasts. Mm -hmm. and, but even but it's a younger generation though. So the young generations that get on live, they tapping in with their audience. They doing what they supposed to do because these people really feel like they know you, so they can buy your music. Hopefully, I can just drop that shit and cut platinum. What about record label? You what you think about? I don't want <laughs> You gotta understand, bro. These people run the world. Beyonce still signed to a record label. You talking about you? Kanye you. signed for life. I mean, if it makes sense. Oh, if y'all gonna, gonna if y'all gonna take my shit and take it, if that's how I gotta get on the billboard, then bro, I'm not turning down nothing but my collar. No. If a bitch believe in me that much, what you what you mean? Are you gonna get like? Are you thinking about signing some artists too? Oh, I got I I got like three artists that I just work with, but I don't sign them on paper fully, but I help develop them and I do this because I'm not a nigga finna sell a nigga dreams. Like in my studio, they record free. A couple of them got keys. I record them. Mm -hmm. I help write music for them. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, but me signing you right now, now it's like when you sign to somebody, you expect shit from them. you. Expect money. I, and then I do that free heartedly. Like I shoot a nigga a few dollars. Like I help cover some shit. I like pay for videos and shit. I do shit because I want to see you win. But I'm not trying to hold nobody down or nothing right now. When I get my business correct, like when I open up this studio, I'm supposed to be starting back in on November first. But I'm just in negotiations with the price of that bitch because it's a bigger and better space. I'm trying to turn it into a six-figure business this time. Or maybe even a seven-figure business if it's in the will of God. You know what I'm saying? But I will sign it when it's correct. When I know I can change your life. Like when I need you to do nothing but record and give all your energy to this. Right now, bitch, you, you got to hustle a little bit, bro. You got to go to work. You got to sell you some house. You, you got to sell you some pussy. You got to do whatever you got to do to keep your bills paid. Because I can't pay your house shit at my mama's house. And then shit at, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but 1G Music, like I said, it's a brand, bitch. I wanted to do everything. I wanted to be uh, a, a, a record label, bitch. I wanted to be sponsored by liquor companies, bitch. If Puma want to give a nigga something, let's do it. If Toyota Camry want me to say, boy, everybody that drive Toyota, keeping that shit 1G. If that, I do that shit with Toyota. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to be a humongous brand, cigars, whatever, whatever they give, bitch. Mm -hmm. For sure. And what, and what start make you start taking business serious, my dog? <laughs> I'm an adult. <laughs> okay then Fake bars on there I'm an adult man This, this shit ain't bullshit My kids getting older My son was a size 10 
You know what I'm saying? My daughter, you know what I'm saying? My son will be in high school in two years. Man, what size you wear? Your son wear size 10. What yeah, size you wear? I wear 10 and a half. So he right down. He on my ass. And dirty. What you mean by, man, I brought them jiggers to the city? Yeah, that's what I was talking about, the 2009. I know that. I'm bringing yeah. that bike up. Why, why my dogs they even like bringing them jiggers to the city? That shit was so fun, bro. Oh. I wish I could. Now, that's the only moment that I could relive. Like, them moments when shit was just going good. Man, man, Cola was so shot out. Niggas weren't doing it back then, man. Niggas was being out burning $100 bills. High all up, burning that shit, but we were coming across that shit, man. That shit was coming good. But guess what? God will humble vibe. Mm -hmm. God will humble your motherfucking ass. Get bald head and go to the dollar store. <laughs> and I had a big ass mustache. Cole used to say, man, you need to grow your hair back, bro. You so angry. <laughs> Bro, now you ripping that bit, though. But, man, man, let, 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 man you should be, is a movie going to come out, keep the water running? Shit, I would love for a movie to come out. Like, um, but I'm not in that. I'm not in that state where I sit down and write a movie. Like, I'm looking. Yeah, I, I want to conquer. Though, I want to. I want to conquer. I want to conquer this beast. Yeah, nah, not even just this rap shit. This music you shit. Yeah, 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 you know. Oh, yeah, oh, you don't call it rap. My no, bad. No, rap bad. Bad. Not, not, my bad. Yeah. This, uh, this music shit. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry this shit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I got. I feel like I got my feet a little bit up under myself as far as like being stable and shit. TDJ talked about being stable too. Um. I feel like I got my feet a little bit up under myself as far as being stable and, and putting my family in a different kind of energy. So now I can continue to be more selfish with this rap shit because at least y'all safe and y'all not uncomfortable and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, hell yeah, I do movies. You know what I'm saying? It'll be a lit ass movie, like just even like some of the shit that happened with the Coleon. Some of the, some of the, you know what I'm saying? But I think Pooh Pooh would be better to direct that movie or to write that movie down. You know what I'm saying? As far as the Coleons go, a thirty one thousand movie. Bitch, how much of the movie ain't stopping yet? This shit stay getting juicy. Like, not, that. not that wasn't a slick ass shot either, though, because they, they think I'm fly with a tongue. That's just me speaking on the run. Right like, let shit. me know. Even though, um, Polo Can Poo, I get some ice, bro? Polo Poo not no rapper, right? How come he Man, got Polo Poo might as well rap. How you ever, you, ever watch that, you ever watch that nigga on live? Come on, man. I got my popcorn ready. Man, that nigga might as well rap, man. Okay, that, nigga, okay. that nigga was crying last night because he lost all his subscribers and his password. How? I just told him, you just an irresponsible motherfucker. You, you know, got to crank it back up. How? He lost his password. He just an irresponsible motherfucker. Oh, no. Nah, he tripping, though. Mm -hmm. Shout out Polo Poo to his birthday on October 19. But, 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 he but, but, too. But what is about his impact that everybody... You know how much He's, request uh, I get from the come here? Yeah, I, t I just I think I just told his ass today. I text his ass today. I just my first time talking to Polo. Like, you know, yeah, right. my first time talking to him was like three years, bro. Like my first time talking to him last night. How did that feel though? Y'all ain't talking. Y'all ain't talking that long. Yeah, man, bro. Cause we had I fell out over some shit that I ain't I don't care to discuss. Because okay, yeah, if I can't discuss it, I'd put it on the internet and yeah. clout chasing and did this. I'm yeah. not trying to tarnish his image or my image. You okay, know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we talked like man last night, and we discussed that same shit. We discussed a lot of other shit. Man, I, was, I talked that nigga for like four hours yesterday. Mm -hmm. Kept calling him back, cussing him out, hanging up on him. He'll cuss me out, hang up on me. But bitch, it was mostly laughter though. It was mostly laughter. It was. It felt like the old shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I'm mature now. He's mature. He just. He just like restamped it like man dirty. You know a nigga never stopped loving you, bro. You know what the pay is, and and I and I reciprocated that same energy with him and mm -hmm. shit. God damn, y'all, y'all, man, y'all, man. And he also brought up the fact, like, he was like, man, you and Cole need to do some music again, bro. Yes. What's up with that, man? Man, I'm down. You feel I mean, me? Man, matter of fact, me and Cole did me and Cole did do some music. Me, him, and Cheese just did a um, record on um, Corporate Cheese. Me, Cole, and Trap Boy did yeah, some what's shit. With Corporate, what's your relation with Corporate Cheese? I that's, see, that's I see his name I tattoo. See pop, I see he popping up out of everyone now. Yeah, that's my that's my brother. We born the same day. Mm -hmm. That been my nigga since like the sixth grade. That's my brother. Like, you know, we keep the same energy. You know what I'm saying? Um, shit, I just I I love how he carry himself. You know, he's very disciplined. I mean, in some sorts. He disciplined where it counts. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just love that nigga, man. That's somebody I can be unapologetic myself with. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, I don't have to walk on eggshells when I come around him. But it's like that with all my homeboys. My nigga Biz, my nigga Sleazy, my nigga Cash, my nigga Kid, my nigga Dookie. You know what I'm saying? My nigga Poopy, my nigga Sad, my nigga Solo. You know, it's a gang of these niggas. You know what I'm saying? It's a bit fat. My nigga Gonzo. Shout out my nigga from the Lucy. Just changed his motherfucking life. He got that bad. Now, shout out Gonzo. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. God damn it, dog. So we ain't gonna get no freestyle from my dog. Nah, you could you could have missed them thirty seconds right there. I ain't doing nah, at that. At least we at least we got some pop out of you. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I fought with that. Yeah, I fought with that. Hey, but you know, I feel like making that kind of music because that music is timeless. Mm -hmm. Like always talking about what's going on right now or trap shit. Like, bro, like you can't even trap on records right now because bitches scamming. 
Man, what, man, a bitch sized me one day, bro. It was like a little whole nigga tricking when I ain't had no business doing shit. Like, you still do that? You still do what? Like, you like, like, grind, like, if I'm selling CDs and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if I'm riding around town the world, uh, selling my CD, I was like, you still do that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, bitches, bitches swiping for these right now. Yeah. Now, that's how you make your money. You still do that? Like you still on um, what you call it? Mm-hmm. You still trying to work a phone, man? Just, man, listen, man. Do you got a uh, what you call it? Bitch, that time talking about tap in. Tap in what? Well, how you feel about this on that swipe game? That was never your swag. I just don't got. I just don't got the energy. For, I just wasn't nothing that I was just interested in. But shout out to them. I don't give a fuck how a nigga get their paper. Mm-hmm. Nigga can be the fry cook at Denny's. Mm-hmm. If you taking care of your family and you saving your shit, you'll be surprised how many niggas. But I, I knew a nigga who had down to nine hundred thousand doing that shit, but down to the last sixty thousand right now. You say one more time. That nigga made down to nine hundred thousand. He down to his last sixty thousand. That's a hurtful feeling right there. Like how can a nigga go down like that? What happened? I don't know. I wasn't hanging with him, bitch. I'm too poor for that shit. I'm still riding around selling CDs. <laughs> I'm still riding around selling CDs, bitch. I don't know how a nigga did that. No, no. Hey, but at least you seen it. I feel like if you seen it once, you'll like, see it I'm again. I'm trying to see it and keep seeing that shit, goddamn. Yeah, man, but the money ain't that. I want to get rich so I can tell niggas money ain't shit. Mm-hmm. But money ain't everything, bro. But I want to get rich first. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be rich as fuck, man. And when the bitch tell me, man, what's the most powerful thing? Love, oh, man. Man. God, okay, money man. and everything. You feel me? Yeah, but yeah, but I want. Oh yeah, shout out to Kodak Black, man. I support the business too. Yeah, oh, that, 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 that new this, shit, this yak shit right here, man. You know when they got yak shit, man. I don't be knowing how to dress and shit, but I felt like yak shit was kind of fly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know how to make this ass nigga. Mm-hmm. See, I, be, I got little braids and shit. I don't be getting them shit braided. Them mm-hmm. shit in the slave know. braids. Okay, then. You no, know, I'm trying to rebrand and regrow. So Put what's sexy? That's why you tell me I look like an athlete will come mm-hmm. in. We'll drop more 30 and get sexy on them hoes, man. Okay, then. Yeah, oh, your, new, your other people here? Man, man we, we start at seven. You good, man. Oh, okay. We, we on that 30,000 vibe right now. They can wait. We chilling right now. For sure. Mm hmm. Tip it, tip it shit swinging swing like a uh, little chop, though. Yeah, yeah, but you not back. Niggas is at the door. I got the legends in. What you mean? God damn, niggas. Niggas is at the door. What you selling in this bitch? Man, I got 31 <laughs> grand right now. I got 31 grand in them thing right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, then. But nah, like, it was a, um, as far as the whole Kodak situation, the Kodak situation, like, if I had to do it over, I would definitely do it over, but I'm happy I don't have to do it over. But it was so much pain. I'm just like I said, I'm happy I made it out my twenties. I thank God for growth. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I thank God for the people who still love a nigga through the mix, even when I was on my bullshit. I thank God for my mama. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my mama and both of my kids' moms and all my homeboys, like my real homeboys who like we come to the house. We just, we take each other out to lunch and shit, celebrate each other's birthdays because I feel like as black men. Well, I ain't even just gonna say black man. I feel like it's man period. We don't celebrate each other enough. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I like when my nigga starting his business, bitch. I encourage him. Like bro, I'm proud of you. I send texts like that, bro. I'm proud of you. even not me being nobody. Mm-hmm. Like you don't hear it. Nobody ain't patting you on your back and tell you, bro, you doing good. Knowing how you suffered and sweated through this shit. When my nigga go get them a big eighteen wheel, listen, bro, I'm proud of you. Why that shit good? Let me take you to lunch. It's your mm-hmm. birthday, bro. Mm-hmm. They go two fifty, man. Just get something to drink, some serious shit to drink or something. Okay. You know, I feel like we gotta do that shit to each other and pat each other on the back, cause. Nobody else will. Okay, then. The world, the world definitely don't give a fuck about niggas, especially if you get on that motherfucker. Do you got a bag or not? Facts. That's yeah. what they care about. And then a bitch, be, a bitch be want you with a bag, but they ain't even got no vision. Mm-hmm. You just want to spend a nigga money. How you, you, is you going to help keep a nigga some, some money? You ain't even got no vision. Bro, how you feel about That's what the new rappers talking about, tricking too, though. They talking about spending Because a nigga ain't trying to tell their household. Because when it boil down to it, if you say you fuck me, I say my she was a prostitute. That part. I ain't trying to fall on the man. I like the piece at my house, but I'm a man, though. I like what I like sometimes. I tra- I, and guess what? If you in the bond, I'm feeling the void. It works for everything. If I can stand it, like, come on, man. Yeah, bitch. Now, now if you want to act funky and get under my girl's pictures and shit, and I say, babe, you know what? I fucked up. She was selling that pussy, and I wanted to buy it. And it was nice. I ain't gonna buy it no more though, cause that whole throw, that whole trying to tear up our household, man. Cause one thing about it, when you real family, they're gonna accept you through thick and thin. But I done put my motherfucking baby mama in jail, bitch, and we gang gang today. You say you put her in jail? Hell yeah. How you put your, what you do We was already going through a dark space and it was a custody battle. Mm. I had this lady, with that, this, this guy who was gonna take everything. So I called, she put her hands on me 6 o'clock in the morning one morning, and I called my lawyer. 
He said, put her ass in jail. I called my nigga Kid Kid. He said, lock that bitch up. You can't beat them hoes in the street. I called the police. But it was just a misdemeanor. And I went up there and I told him, man, I just need to have some anger management classes and shit. Mm -hmm. But she hit me in front of my daughter, too. Now, if I would have beat her motherfucking ass, I would have still been doing that. I'm a big nigga. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I'm 300 pounds, 285 pounds. And I feel like, fuck what a bitch talking about, bro. Why would I put my hands in front of my, on, on my baby mama in front of my daughter? And guess what? Call them crackers. Because, baby, if a nigga ever put their hands on you, and I can't make call them crackers and I'm a yeah, nigga ready to funk him out of bounds. But I know you need me here. Okay then. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yes, I put a motherfucking ass in jail. I do regret it though. Mm -hmm. I do regret it because like if something happens, it but it was a fucking misdemeanor. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? She ain't stabbed me up. Yeah. She ain't try to kill me or mm -hmm. nothing. But she did almost make me wreck my car. Sat right on my lap, juice me up, and she bumping. Oh man. Yeah, she yeah, bumping too. Yeah, shout out my daughter mama, man. But she not a baby mama no more. She my daughter mama. And like, yeah, she used to call me all kind of rat ass nigga, snitch ass nigga, fuck nigga. Man, you call me what you want to. What am I showing my daughter? Mm -hmm. If I'd have whooped your ass in front of in front of her, if I'd have left you out there, you had to go to ambulance, you'd have had to put charges on me. Even if you dropped the charges, the state would have picked it up. Mm -hmm. I would have never can be one thousand. Facts. I made a factual decision that day to call the white people and say, this what you do. This ain't no street shit. Mm -hmm. I ain't call the police on your trap. Mm -hmm. You know, I ain't telling you because you getting money. Mm -hmm. Ho, don't put your hands on me. I actually don't even like you right now. <laughs> yeah, I know I can beat you up. Okay. But why? Go have you two days. Okay. And they soften them hoes anyway. She got all right and all, like, right quick. They asked me what I, I want to do. even had to burn out. She just Yeah, but I'm telling them, man, let's go to therapy and shit, man, so we can just do something with my okay. jet. She had me going, waking up 6 o'clock in the morning to go pick my daughter away from somewhere else, and I could have walked to my daughter's to school. You bullying a nigga. But mm -hmm. guess what? That shit don't live rent free in my head neither because we gang gang. That's my motherfucking girl right there. And I go to back by her. You know what I'm saying? She started doing her classes. Matter of fact, all y'all that's getting y'all body done, you know what I'm saying? She's a massage therapist and she massaging all the girls that get her body done. She's like top tier in her business and she she got magical hands and shit. Y'all go shop with Indian and JoJo, man. And how you feel about that 31,000? Like girls get their body done, nobody done. Man, I don't give a fuck. It's your preference. But I, I particularly. I like yeah, yeah. I, 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 I particularly like. Like natural shit. I like fat shit, skinny shit. I like mm -hmm. good energy. And you say you you how the fuck you got a three hundred pounds, thirty one thousand. You was at three hundred one time. Two hundred eighty five. Three hundred then. Yeah, three hundred. How the fuck? Drinking, drugging. Um, I thought drugging get you skinny. Nah, cause I eat on them drugs. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, a professional. Yeah, you're a professional. Come on, man. I eat on drugs. You catch man. the munchies on everything. Man, come on. I eat on them shit, mm -hmm. man. And they be and I and I like good clean drugs. I don't like that. Drug. I like that drug with your good energy. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'm, I'm I think it was just being lazy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I even got to a point where I ain't even know I was depressed, bitch. I ain't even want to shoot no videos and shit because I'm looking back at the camera like like the day with the picture I uploaded. I'm like I can see the growth of the shit I've been doing the last seven or eight months. Okay, then. like bitch, my, my, it ain't black under my eyes, bitch. My stomach ain't hanging to the side. Mm -hmm. Man, cheese. Well, in the studio with me one day and I had my shirt off and he was like bro what, what you got going on in here bro <laughs> <laughs> he like bro you looking crazy bro mm -hmm. Polo Poo uploaded us having a conversation one time the conversation was lit but I looked at it and I'm got my shirt mm -hmm. off tits everything I'm like bro you ain't my real friend bro how you gonna present me to the world like that alright you know what I'm saying and what about um? I think y'all won some in the Bride County Awards one time too though yeah, definitely. I mean, shout out, but, but that comes from the same culture, the, um, the open mics and shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm looking forward to them bringing that shit back. I'm looking forward to niggas rapping for real and not just want to, because Instagram fucking people up, I think. Bitches just want to be famous so fast, and then you get famous and don't want it no more. And then don't want to do it no more. And then want, don't want to have it no more. Like, I don't understand this shit, bro. And I'm going pop for show the rap game. Two dames. I'm staying all the way out of niggas way. Don't talk to me about no records when you shooting up bang bang. Don't talk to me about no records about going to jail. Don't talk to me no records about falling out with your baby mama. Just talk to me about records about getting some money and, and taking over the world. Like Pinky and the Brain. What we doing today, Brain? We the same going. thing we do every day, motherfucker. <laughs> Take over the world. <laughs> that motherfucking part. Okay, then. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And what else you want to let them know before we get out of here, too, my dog? I want everybody to know to just keep God first in everything you do and acknowledge God in everything that you motherfucking do. <sighs> um, don't don't quit your daydream. You know what I'm saying? You can work and still keep hustling and dreaming. Um, uh, take care of your motherfucking kids for sure. And uh, keep the water running. Keep the water <laughs> running, dog. God, that's so...
Let me before we go out of here. Let's talk about was that yo solo song and you just yeah those no, those me and gang. As matter of fact, gang went gang took me on two shows though inside the game. But gang did a whole tour off keep the world because I had a version with just you and gang. He said when I went on YouTube, I'm like hold on, what's the New York dude? Because me and gang can't get a chance to shoot it. Mm -hmm. Or I think gang was out of town doing the show or something when I did shoot it or something. We never caught power. How is that though having different coast loving shit you doing? You from oh, man, it just made me want to stay down. Damn, Zeke bro. even said, man, dirty be talking that New York ass shit, but it's great. Though. I don't think like, it was, I think it was just some swag Florida shit. Yeah, bro. Like me, feel me? And uh, I and, uh, 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 and I and I'm getting comfortable with being myself. Like my own identity. Damn, it took for me to be thirty. Bro, you, you made a nigga want to go hit the block on that song though. Mm -hmm. Damn it, dog. I, man, I hope I motivate niggas to get up and go to work today too. You, you, do you remember the verse on that shit? <sighs> don't tell me you won't remember the verse. Nah, now it's in the zip. Oh. I cook four and a zip. Uh, I don't remember that shit. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> so, so if they book you, ain't gonna remember that. Bro. No, when I hear the music, I can rap with it. You know what? Hey, what the guy who shoot my videos, he always tell me, bro, play the song so you can remember my verse, bro. I literally yesterday I shot a video, bro. I played that shit all day. I'm actually sick of hearing the song, and it's hard. Um, I played that shit all day and still got the over there and muffled over words and shit, bro. So that's something else that I'm going to work on in my artistry, too. I'm going to be more professional. Because I got to do that shit what the locks did on stage at they verses. Them niggas went with no music. You got to play my music in the background, but it's going to funk. Nah, this is in the, yeah, I made four in a chick. Hold on, now. There's a wrist. Hold on. All it took was my wrist, yeah. That be good to do, Scotty. Come wait for somebody. Hold on. You know what's so crazy? I never performed this either. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, the baby out of the crib. I drop a baby. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I sell water to it. Yeah. I sell salt to it. Okay, five oh. fingers to it. Yeah. All I had was a Nina. My girl say you go, boy. Marcy Gina. I went to cooking. My work cleaner than t-shirts. You get out the cleaners on one grab. Yeah. Yeah, I, so I guess I don't know him when I hear him either. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to hype you up. Yeah, huh? That came out like 10 years ago. It's a classic, no, no. And you know what? So I'm happy that I came to the podcast for that reason because Damn. to hear that, that I actually have a classic that I didn't promote it. Um, Y'all go tap in and keep the water running when I had that ball head. I appreciate you showing me love what on that shit, too, bro. I'm thankful that. for that. You're going to bring them Brock County kind of legend, Florida boys, for and sure. beat them. Boy, for what sure. you mean? For sure. I'm not a legend because I ain't gone yet. I'm just legendary. We, 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 we live in legends. Then. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, we, we legendary. Okay, then. Shout out my nigga, man, man. Okay. Yeah, we legendary. Okay. Yeah, we ain't legends yet because legends gone. Okay, okay. We legendary. We legendary. You know, my, my, my dog gonna teach me, guys. Yeah, we gonna teach each okay, other. Okay, then. I'm learning. And yeah. One more time. How can they follow you, my dog, dirty? Man, on Twitter, y'all follow me at 1G Music. I don't really got no Facebook, but y'all can follow my mama because I be using her shit to promote her. So, Sharona, such and such. Um. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> I'm shot. Uh, nah, but IG Dirty One Thousand. That's what I'm on all the time. Man, any shout outs before we get out of here? Man, shout out to everybody who um showing love to themselves. Shout out to everybody who tuning in to the uh, podcast right now. Shout out to everybody that's gonna stream it on YouTube. Shout out to God for keeping the water running with me, and shout out to both of my baby mamas. <laughs> okay, and, 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 and what single should we be looking for? I'm not sure yet. Okay. I'm just recording. I'm, but y'all look out for my um. Behind the mic, um, y'all look at my hot box thing, but look out for my behind the mic video. It's gonna be coming out shortly. I just recorded it yesterday. It's dope. I did an old school beat. Shout out to Andre Three Thousand. I did one of the Outcast beats too. So okay, that's crazy. Man. You even said, man, Cody Few was like the Outcast. Come Outcast on, shit. man, y'all yeah. boys off the chain. Mm -hmm. Tip and toe podcast. The next time we had to bring that boy dirty at one thousand or thirty one ground. For sure, for sure. Y'all been asking for that boy. We had to bring him tip and toe podcast. This is what we do. What you mean? Okay then. Till next time. Till next time. Okay then. <laughs>